G'day all. Here we have a Graham Industries VR1A. It's a double acting steam engine. I uh, bought this one second hand. I don't run it all that often, but every time I do run it, I do really enjoy it. I'm going to run this one off gas. I'm using uh, silicon tubing going down to a Bix burner. Also silicon tubing coming out of a valve that um, SPS Bruce built for me over in America and sent over to me. It's a great little addition to a, a Jensen boiler. Also, this Jensen boiler is a, it's an orphan boiler. Um, I made up a, a plinth and put it on some brass and uh, it's just a handy little boiler, gas fired. Um, also running uh, the exhaust into a condensate pot that I made and using silicon tubing for that as well. This was just um, paddle pop sticks that I stained and varnished and uh, this is out of an old uh, map gas cylinder, aluminium map gas cylinder that I emptied, cut in half and uh, it's been a pretty good condensate pot but a fair bit, because this is gas, a lot of heat comes up from these vents here. Silicon is is fine. It's virtually flame proof. It's been it's been really good, and it's a lot easier for me using a, uh, silicon than always using copper lines. Copper lines are great for a, a steam plant that's permanent, but for something that you're breaking down and setting up all the time and running different things from different boilers and different engines silicon tubing for me anyway works fine but uh, look i'll give you a little close up it's really nice it's got reversing lever that works really good and uh, it's just a just a nice we'll knock that camera then it's just a, a beautiful simple nice little, little engine it's around the back of it. But uh, as always, I'll stop talking and uh, I'll light this up. And we'll come back when that boil is coming up the boil. Okay, we're up to steam. And the safety valve is blowing off, so we'll open up the steam valve. Which way does this turn? Can't remember. We've got a bit of lock going on. Just turn the steam down a bit. Slow it down. See if we can get a little bit slower. What a nice little engine. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Put the lever up again. Alright, stop that time. Let's try it again. I'm going to put a little bit more steam in. Alright.
running very nice off the Orphan Jensen boiler. See if we can run the baker fan off this. Alright, grab the baker fan. Hook this up. Some O ring building. Is that right? Uh, it's the little Graham Industries VR1A, is, it's pretty much dwarfed by this, but the baker fan will put the steam back on. And we'll see if we can get that turning. There we go from verse. A little bit more steam in. Just a fraction. Always fun running a Baker fan. They do put a, a good load on an engine. It's on the largest pulley. There's a, that's a three-step cone pulley that I turned out of brass on the metal lathe, and uh, it's on it's on the largest one. And that's a fairly small drive wheel on the little Graham Industries. Very happy with the way the that uh, Jensen Orphan boiler's running on gas. This is um, I've given this three coats of uh, a VR very high temperature VHT paint, and uh, it's got three coats also of a clear coat, a gloss clear coat, which is held up to a lot of um, flame firings now. So I, I, I would I, I'd say that that. Gloss clear coat is definitely flame proof. It's uh, it's been probably had 20 to 25 firings now, and it's held up really well. But back to this little uh, Graham Industries VR1A. It's a really nice little engine. It's running that baker fan without a problem. We'll see if we can change the direction again. I'll we'll flick this really quick. Nope. Let's kick it over. And we'll go back this way. I'll put some steam back in. And we'll... I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll drop that down to this smaller belt size. And we'll see if it likes that. Yeah, it likes that better. Definitely likes that better. A little bit of slip going out, and I've just hit the baker fan. So we'll start it up once more. He's definitely has more power in one direction. A fair bit of steam coming out of the condensate pot. Okay, we'll 
stop that now. So we've got that off. The steam that starting to run out. The steam has definitely dropped down in that boiler. Now, there's still water in there. I think we just lost pressure running that baker fan. So I'll turn that steam off. I'll turn the gas off. And uh, well, there we have it. A little Graham Industries VR1A double acting steam engine. Really nice. I like do like this engine. Um, I know there's a few out there. I don't think that Graham Industries are in business anymore. If anyone can confirm that or tell me that I'm wrong, it would be really interesting to know because... Uh, I know that there was definitely, they put out three engines and I've got two of them and I never got a chance to get the third and I have looked for it but uh, I haven't been able to see it for sale anywhere so if anyone can tell me that Graham Industries is still in operation that would be really great because everything that I've researched is telling me that they aren't but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and as always thanks for watching, really appreciate it Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I, that's always very handy for any content uh, maker on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, duplicate what I said before. Thanks for watching and bye for now.